Hey, Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how to quickly rust metal within minutes using common household items. Now this is real rust. It's not like a fake patina paint job. This is the real deal and it's super easy to do and you get some really awesome results. So check this out. This is a really cool project. Okay, so here's the piece of metal that I'm going to rust. I just bought a piece of sheet metal here. You can see how it's got fingerprints on it. It's kind of oily and gross and dirty, but it is just raw steel. And that's what you want to work with. If your piece is painted or has powder coating on it or it's galvanized or something like that, you're going to need to take that off. You're going to have to either grind it or sand it. You want to get down to some raw metal. Okay, that's also not going to work on aluminum or stainless or anything like that. It needs to just be regular steel iron so anyway here's a piece of metal so the first thing I need to do is go ahead and clean it up so I'll do that next okay so to clean the metal really good it probably has kind of an oily coating on it and it's got the fingerprints and all that kind of stuff so you want to get rid of all of that so what I'm using here is a degreaser it's a cleaner and degreaser so to spray it down wipe it off real quick you see all the gross griminess coming off of there if you just leave that on, this won't work as well, so you really got to clean that off. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so now that the metal's clean, you could just go ahead and start uh, skipping these next two steps I'm showing you and just start to rust it. But I want to show you a couple things that can add to the effect. Okay, one thing you can do is go ahead and take piece of sandpaper, a sanding block, even a power sander, and just go through and sand the whole thing just to give it a little bit of uh, tooth. You don't want a crazy grit though, just, uh, just something to really kind of, you know, put some swirls in there so that the uh, rusting solution can really get into the metal. Okay, now the other optional thing I've done is I've made a little graphic here with painter's tape. Make sure it's on there real nice. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'll cover this half with paper, and I'm going to take it outside and clear coat this, all right? So all of these little silver squares are going to remain as is, just raw metal. Then once it dries, I'll peel the tape off, and then I'll start working on the rusting solution, and all these lines will turn to rust. It's a pretty cool effect. And you could probably also get the same look with maybe overlaying lace or perforated metal or lay objects on it, and then clear coat it, and then peel that off or take the objects off or whatever, and then you get a really cool effect that way too once you start rusting. So let me go ahead and clear coat it, and then I'll show you how to make the solution. All right, so the recipe for the rusting solution is really simple. I just have a little cheapy spray bottle here that I'm calling the Rusty 3000 and it has measurements in ounces, which would be very handy. All right, then you're gonna want a full bottle, a 16 ounce bottle of hydrogen peroxide. All right, then you just need some regular white vinegar. You only need two ounces of that, but we'll actually use uh, some more of it here in a second spray bottle, of just pure vinegar. All right, and then the other thing is that you just need some salt and you only need a half tablespoon. So you're gonna pour the full bottle of hydrogen peroxide in the spray bottle, your two ounces of vinegar in there, and then your half tablespoon of salt. Just kind of shake it around and let that salt dissolve. Okay, so I brought my metal panel back in and the clear coat's dry, so I'm gonna peel off the tape here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is take it back outside again and I'm a first prep it with just straight vinegar. So I'm gonna douse the whole thing with a nice coat of vinegar and let it dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna spray it again. I'll do that about three, four, five times. And what that's gonna do is the vinegar is just gonna kind of start to eat at the metal just a little bit so that the rusting solution can do its job way better. All right, so now the vinegar has dried. It's already started working some magic on this. So now I'm gonna use the old trusty Rusty 3000 here and probably should be wearing gloves and definitely wanna do this outside because you'll see what it does as soon as you start spraying. So I'll coat it and watch how it just starts rusting already. You put enough on there, it'll start bubbling. Yeah, check that out. Pretty awesome, huh? Now you may notice up here that it's a little light and that's probably because this board I'm on is kind of sloped, so all the vinegar kind of ran towards the center. So where the vinegar didn't set as much, it doesn't, you know, it didn't quite eat into the metal as much, so it doesn't rust, but it's still gonna have a really cool effect. So 
what I'll do is I'll let this dry and then uh, see how it looks later. If I want it to be a little more, I'll spray some more on. But if not, I'll let it dry and then I'll clear coat it and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, so I'm losing my light, but I wanted to show you this real quick before I go inside. I just sprayed a second coat. I just did it on this half, and you can see how deep and rich that rust color is getting already. So I think what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and just let it dry overnight, and I'll see what I get in the morning. And then uh, really what you could do, you could just leave it alone like this, and I mean, that's it, you know. Just let it rust on its own. It gets that really cool natural patina. But if you really like how this... Uh, looks you can lock it in with some clear coat so once it dries that's probably what i'll do i'll go ahead and spray it with clear coat just to kind of show you what it looks like one more thing i should probably mention is you can kind of see how it's spotty over here that's because it was still wanting to kind of eat through that clear coat so what i did is uh, a while ago when i noticed that i went ahead and i took a napkin and i dabbed all of the silver areas to pull up all of the little beads of the uh, rust solution so that it didn't go any further so it has a pretty cool look now but that's something just to uh, you know kind of keep in mind is that it will probably still try to kind of eat through it a little bit so you have to watch that so i'll let this sit overnight i'll show you what it looks like tomorrow and i'll add a little clear coat to it all right and here's what it looked like overnight it's still raw i haven't clear coated it yet i'm going to in a minute but i wanted to show you what it looked like after it sat all night so check out that super deep rich color we got this crazy dark spot over here a lot of flaky texture right here which is actually kind of delicate i'll show you up here that some of it had come off a little bit and there's still shiny metal under there and that's because this coating is just kind of a top coat right now it hasn't taken a permanent grip into the metal so you have to be careful with it that's why i want to clear coat it to kind of seal it in but if you just left it alone never touched it kept it outside or whatever it would eventually you know just be a, a solid hard texture all right so anyway last night i had Similar to that spot right there, I had one right here, so I resprayed it uh, before I went to bed, and this is what it turned out in the morning. Got that really cool texture, so I like how that turned out. I'll keep it. Also, I want to show you just real quick how the clear coat held up. Did pretty well. You can kind of see it did eat through just a little bit, but that's actually a pretty cool effect, so you could do some really cool graphics with this. So what I'll do next is go ahead and clear coat it, and we'll see how it turns out with that. It should deepen up a little bit. All right, and check it out. Here it is after the clear coat. It deepened the color just a little bit, but it pretty much stayed the same, which I'm happy with because I really like how it looks. And it uh, turned out really awesome. Now, I do want to mention again that because this rust coat is so fresh, that it still is kind of delicate and it could flake on you, so beware of that. So I clear coated mine, and I'd recommend if you're going to use this or you know actually touch it, maybe a tabletop or, or whatever, to have a lot of clear coat on there. But you don't have to clear coat it. You can leave it alone, but like I said, I would not touch it for a while. Maybe let it sit out for a while and uh, let it rust on its own and really take a firm grip on there. But anyway, this turned out really awesome, and it's just really cool how quickly you can rust metal and get effects like this.